If a teenager told you she likes listening to Jay Z and, and Lady Gaga, there'd be nothing strange about that, right? But what if that same teenager had already shared a stage with those big stars? You might not believe them if they said that. But when it comes to One Valley Teen, believe it. She is a music sensation in Japan while still working toward her high school diploma in Chandler. Don't let this vocabulary log slip up on you because of spring break. Mr. Horton's English class at Hamilton High in Chandler. It, it the class that. looks like a cross-section of America 2011. But one of the students lives a double life. Here in Arizona, Kylie Saunders is a typical teenager. I've had to tell her to be quiet in class. <laughs> Just as chatty as the next kid. <laughs> She's a normal kid. It's got the rubric on back. But there's more to this straight A student than meets the eye. In Japan, she's a budding pop star. This is Kylie performing at the Summer Sonic International Music Festival in Tokyo. It's a side of her that many of her classmates know nothing about. She's not the kind of person that would come in and say, you know, look, I, you know, I have a recording contract. I'm famous in Japan. No, that's not her at all. You can't even tell unless you knew. Well, when she comes back from Japan, I always ask her how was it, and she tells me, there's no bragging. There's no people treat her the same. She's the same person. Hi. Isabel and Kylie have been friends since freshman year. We're really close. We share secrets and we do hang out a lot. I hang out with the most. Sometimes, like best friends do, they even finish each other's sentences. And then I put mine up on the board and then everyone like, criticized it. It wasn't bad. So how does an Arizona high schooler become a singing sensation in Japan? It all began with a Disney movie when she was a toddler. I think it was um, Mulan and Christina Aguilera sings Reflection, and that's when I like fell in love. I fell in love with that song when I was like three, and I'd sing it like every single day. Kylie always liked to sing and dance and entertain at family get-togethers, but her parents knew she had a special gift when they got the karaoke machine. Even before she could read. She would memorize the words, so the words would be going along, and she wouldn't be able to read them, but she could memorize them and, and sing through the song. At the ripe old age of 11, and her family living in Oregon at the time, she sang the national anthem before Trailblazers basketball game. Despite the fact that it was her first time ever singing before anyone besides her family, let alone using a real microphone, she acted like she'd been there a thousand times before. And we walked in and she, she tapped me on the arm and she said, Dad, I thought you said this place was going to be big. It was a life-changing experience for young Kylie. It was really like the most like moving experience like I've ever had. Everything about the situation was just like so awesome and it was just like an amazing feeling. So when I sang, I just immediately thought in my head, like, I want to do this. Like, I want to become a professional singer. Executives at Sony Japan got wind of her performance on YouTube, and by the age of 12, she had signed a professional recording contract. Thus began her Hannah Montana-like existence. During school vacations and long breaks, she flies with her mother, Aiko, to Japan for recording sessions video shoots and concerts. Then it's back to Arizona for classes and a normal teenage life. I think that whole experience is really important for me too, like being able to just go to regular school, coming home, and just living a normal life, I guess. And despite what can be a hectic schedule, Kylie remains passionate about both music and school. It really is uh, an advantage to having like my whole singing career in Japan and then having just like that regular American lifestyle in um, in, Amer in the States. At home, she's a big sister to her 10-year-old brother, Tate. The same goes for her 12-year-old sister, Ashley, who's an aspiring singer and actress on her own. And that's exactly how her parents want it. We want her to be able to integrate, you know, here in the U.S. and be able to do uh, normal things that kids do every day. But then when she goes to Japan, be able to you know, live out that dream. As for that dream, Kylie already has multiple singles, mini albums, and full-length albums, as well as the accompanying music videos under her belt. She's especially enjoying writing her own lyrics and melodies. What I want to do as an artist is 
make people happy through them through my music and make people um, be able to listen and relate to like events or feelings that I've had as a teenager. And it seems like, to paraphrase an old song, her future's so bright, she's got to wear shades. She's going to make a some kind of contribution to society. And whether that contribution is, you know, in a laboratory somewhere or on a stage somewhere, she'll make a mark. For Kylie to be a singer or if she decides to be a doctor, you know, at some point, that's, that's great too. I mean, we just want her to be happy and be successful. Singing's awesome. Like, I love singing. And if I could do that for the rest of my life, that would be, like, the best thing because music is, like, everything to me. Really blessed. I mean, to have parents that are supportive. Yeah. Like, what a cool life! The Can best you imagine? of both worlds, as he. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. By the way, Kylie has a new single coming out. It's called "Never Give Up." Now, she wrote the song and says it's her motto and advice that everyone should use. Get myfoxphoenix.com on your iPhone free at the App Store and stay connected.